Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and recently people have been asking me where are the Flat Earth videos, as if me posting three videos in a live stream that have nothing to do with Flat Earth is me somehow never tackling Flat Earth again. So to reassure everyone that yes, I will still be talking about Flat Earthers, here's a video about Flat Earther Level Earth Observer. So to add a bit of context to this, Level Earth Observer is a Flat Earther that has appeared multiple times on Simon Dan's channel. Now Level Earth Observer has a tendency to look at videos of the ISS and point out all the supposed flaws that it has in it to prove that space is fake apparently. That's kind of his thing. However, despite his enthusiasm for that, there is one video that so far he doesn't appear to have looked at at all. The video in question is a 50 minute tour of the ISS and Simon Dan realised that Elio hasn't had a look at this so he challenged Elio to have a look at this and this is Elio's response. So first up we got one of the top boys on the space Lego scene. Let's see what Dan's got to say. If you are a flat earther there are a I'm going to stop you pretty much straight away, my handsome friend. No, I'm not a flat earther. I'm a demonstrable realist. A demonstrable realist, he calls himself, whilst, you know, denying any evidence that shows that he might be wrong. I'm sorry, Elio, but if you believe that the earth is flat, then you're a flat earther. You've been told this numerous times, yet you keep telling your viewers I'm a flat earther. Could it be you don't want them to know the demonstrable truth, the fact the globe's scientifically impossible? And you're trying to inform your viewers on a subconscious level that a demonstrable realist, me, stands by the loaded term flat earth and all the propaganda and silly claims and cartoons that go with it. No, he calls you a flat earther because, well, you're a flat earther. And the reason why people associate silly things with flat earth is because flat earth it's a very silly thing. If you're a flat earther, then you have to deny so much to the point that it becomes ludicrous. And not only do you have to deny things, you have to come up with explanations for things that just make absolutely no sense. This is why people find flat earth ridiculous. And no matter what you call yourself, Elio, people are going to think that you are ridiculous. Let me state for the record, many times in the past, in my titles of my video, I've used the word flat earth. One, to tickle the algorithms, and two, to highlight people's automated responses to the words flat earth and how propagandized they are. Okay? And of course, I dropped that many, many years ago now. I don't even use it. Okay, level earth observer, what is the name of your YouTube channel again? Level Earth Observer? You know, a tendency of Flat Earthers is to see the words level and flat as basically being interchangeable. So to a Flat Earther, the name Level Earth Observer basically means Flat Earth Observer. So yeah, your own channel name basically indicates that you yourself are a Flat Earther. Are you gonna change it? Of course, he could always try and argue that flat and level are not synonymous, which would be, you know, it'd be a change of pace coming from a flat earther, that's for sure. Not that I've ever claimed flat earth maps and models, I'm still being misrepresented. Constantly. You know, there are a lot of flat earthers out there that make the exact same claim that flat earth maps are not models. The thing that Flat Earthers do not realise, however, is that it actually hurts Flat Earthers' credibility to not have any kind of map or model. You know, it's kind of like if I said, I have built a perpetual motion machine, and then someone asks me, well, can I see it? And I go, no. You just have to believe me. Not showing it makes my claim far less believable to pretty much anyone. A few other things that you sort of have to believe other than flat earth. You have to believe that gravity isn't real, for instance. Wrong. I don't deny our reality in any shape or form. Most things fall. Some things rise. I don't deny it. Okay, this is an interesting point because flat earthers do seem to deny that gravity is real. However, they've never actually needed to do that. All they've had to do is say that gravity just does not work the same way that Einstein or Newton described and they'd be fine. Instead, they've got to try and come up with things like relative density disequilibrium to explain why things fall, when they could just easily go, yeah, there's something that makes things fall at 9.81 meters per second squared. They could then just say, you know, 
That's gravity, not the Einstein or Newton stuff. In fact, I love it. Do you know why? Because the way reality presents itself to us proves the globe scientifically impossible. Because whatever is at play with regards gravity, cause and effect, whatever's going on there, it's not man enough to make the globe earth theory a reality. Because whatever is at play can be overcome by a gentle breeze and therefore isn't man enough to hold tower cranes upside down whilst doing ludicrous speeds in four different directions on a spinning, wobbling, oscillating ball. Oh, it's the whole, if gravity is real, then how come birds can fly thing again? You know, never mind LEO taking a look at a particular video of the space station. I want LEO to take a look at a physics textbook. I know this is a long shot, but maybe, just maybe he could figure out how different forces work. Maybe. Because what he needs to realise is that gravity is a force that is proportional to the mass of an object. And if you apply a force in the opposite direction, then you can overcome gravity. Of course, because of the aforementioned gravity being proportional to the mass of an object, you do need to apply a larger force the more mass of the object. No one denies what is. Oh buddy, you do not realise the crowd of people that are in the Flat Earth community. And yeah, given that crowd of people, I can understand why you might want to distance yourself from them. I'm literally you showing you a picture of laser bending right now. I'm literally showing you it. It's right there, right in front of you. Something's wrong with that laser bend, because they don't bend like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the eight inches per mile squared actually works. None of your mathematics works, fella. It's all mathematical storytelling that doesn't have any practicality whatsoever to back it up. Just fantasy. Maths, as I've stated many times, is just a mathematical story unless it has scientific demonstrations to back up its claims. Okay, here's the thing about maths, because quite often flat earthers will claim that, oh, we should expect to see X because of Y. But they haven't actually checked the maths to see if X is a logical outcome of Y. This is because they're using the way that they think things work, when in actuality they should be using the way that things actually work. For example, a lot of them will bring up the Felix Baumgartner jump. They'll say, oh, Felix Baumgartner ended up 30 or 40 kilometers east of where he started, therefore the Earth can't be a globe because otherwise he should have ended up west. Now, if you do the maths like I have, you'll find out that Felix Baumgartner should have only been pushed like 13 kilometers to the west by the Coriolis effect. Now, what this means is that their claim does not debunk the globe because he still has to be pushed 40 or 50 kilometers east by something like wind. Coriolis pushing him 13 kilometers in the opposite direction isn't gonna even overcome half of that. So yeah, if people actually bothered to do the maths, then they'd find out what's actually expected rather than just assuming what they think is expected. Most importantly, above all else, you have to believe that space is fake. But to Dan, how many times have you been told? You cannot have a spherical air pressure system rock globe Earth residing in the middle of a vacuum, space, without some kind of solid separation. That's not my opinion, Dan. That's a scientific demonstrable fact backed up by every single demonstration on this earth involving a vacuum residing next to an air pressure system. So this is something where he could have really helped his case by having, you know, maths. The reason being is because his claim is unsubstantiated. Show me a vacuum. What does a vacuum look like? No matter how good you get your vacuum, there's still gonna be something in there. And this is important. Because at what point do you go from this high pressure can exist next to this low pressure, but cannot exist next to this low pressure? Now, Elio might demonstrate that he hasn't been listening and go, at the point it becomes a vacuum, duh. However, the problem with that is that vacuums still have pressure in them. Sure, it's a small amount of pressure, but it's pressure nonetheless. And the reason why this is a problem for LEO is it's not that gas pressure cannot exist next to a vacuum, it's that high pressure will expand and fill areas of low pressure. Now functionally, what this means is that if I have a vacuum right here, whatever amount of pressure that vacuum is, it cannot exist right here unless there is a container. However, this goes for any amount of low pressure that is lower than the surrounding air. 
it cannot exist there unless there is a container. However, if we take this phenomenon as a general rule and try to apply it everywhere, we can run into issues. Because as you increase in elevation, the pressure drops. Now, there is no physical barrier that separates the high pressure of low elevation to the low pressure of high elevation. So the mechanism for why gas pressure would fill a vacuum or a low pressure system if I had it right here, doesn't 100% work when it comes to altitude. And if it can't overcome altitude, then what makes you think that it's going to expand off the Earth? Today, regarding that, I'm going to openly challenge a flat earther to try and debunk the un- Debunkable. Well, I've just debunked it with demonstrable reality and I haven't even seen the video yet. Although I know what's coming because you've been going on about this for weeks now. But I've already destroyed it by stating simple facts that can be tested and verified by every single person on this earth. Well, you've actually just been misunderstanding how things work. That's not really debunking anything. Now, it's a prerequisite for flat earthers to claim that space is fake, NASA is a hoax, and everything they do is a lie. The trouble is, there's a video in existence which completely destroys that opinion. Now, in my opinion, it is undebunkable, and all my time doing YouTube for five plus years, I've not once, not once, seen a flat earther take this video on. Bless this man's desperation, citing some fantasy as proof that reality is wrong. What a silly charade order this is. I mean, if Simon Dan is wrong here, then it shouldn't be too difficult to debunk his evidence, right? At the very least, you should be able to analyse and go, well, there's a whole lot of issues here, and this can be faked this way, or something like that. If you were really a demonstrable realist, then you shouldn't have any issue with going after something like this, right? And it is, of course, the 50-minute tour of the ISS. It quite simply is an amazing video and it shows NASA astronaut Stephen Swanson giving us a guided tour of the International Space Station. Now, as I said, in my opinion, this is undebunkable. Uh, and that's highlighted by the fact that our favorite Flat Earth Fell compilation guest and all-round NASA critic level Earth observer has never, ever looked at this video. Now he has looked at almost every single other video from NASA except this one. Now I've asked him to multiple times, but he still refuses. Well, do you remember our conversation where I asked you if you had any practicality to back up your fundamental claims to justify me wasting 15 minutes of my time looking at space propaganda? You didn't say any, which of course debunked your fundamental claims and of course meant I didn't need to entertain this silliness. My brother in Christ! You have looked at a whole lot of space propaganda to debunk it. That would be like if a flat earther came up to me to give me proof that the earth was flat and I didn't look at it because flat earthers tend to be wrong. Shying away from evidence like this when you've literally looked at other evidence that people have sent you and attempted to debunk that, that shows that you are dishonest. You are not a demonstrable realist. You're just a flat earther. You know, actually, on second thought, maybe he's not a flat earther. Because a flat earther might at least attempt to look at the evidence that has been presented. Could it be that Elio knows that this is undebunkable and doesn't want to show his audience because he likes having an audience? Take it away, Pete. And of course, it turns out our mate here is another Lego engineer. Essentially, an older guy that plays with toys. So I personally do not play with Lego. However, the modern version of LEGO is basically just Minecraft, right? But my point is, if someone wants to play with LEGO, there's no problem with them doing so. And it doesn't change their arguments, either. I'm sure some people even see Shork here and go, huh, well they can't be trusted because they have soft toys. And it's like, I just like having some soft toys. People are allowed to like things, it doesn't mean that their argument is wrong. I'm sure that Elio even has things that he likes. So if you'll indulge me, I'm going to go through some points where should Elio ever get round to actually watching this video. These are the points we think he'll try to point out and try and debunk. But as you'll see, it's completely 100% undebunkable. Debunked it before it even begun by simply citing demonstrable science that can be tested and verified by all, which is my whole point in the first place, which is what gives me a free pass to bash space any which way I like. So by the same logic, because Level Earth Observer is wrong, every time he makes a video, I get a free pass on debunking Level Earth Observer videos. I just have to watch 
five seconds and say, yep, I've already debunked this video before it even began. Level Earth Observer better watch out because someday I'm just going to debunk his entire channel. <laughs> That's not a joke by the way, at some point I'm just going to go through Elio's entire channel and watch five seconds of every video he's ever made and just say that I've debunked it in the first five seconds. <laughs> That would be a fun video, trust me. Okay, I just had a look and realized that he has over 570 videos, so five seconds of each of them would be like 45 minutes, at least. Don't worry, I will figure something out and Elio's channel is just gonna be entirely debunked. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll entertain you, me old fantasist mate, but we need Simon Dan to do a bit of a correction. Dan needs to highlight the fact in a video to his viewers I'm a demonstrable realist. Again, you're not much of a demonstrable realist if you refuse to look at evidence that might show that you're wrong. You're just a coward. And he needs to highlight my claims. Things like you can't have an air pressure system residing next to a vacuum. Tower cranes and pendulums don't have the ability to be dead still and plumb whilst doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. And large standing bodies of water don't have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. That's the fundamentals of what I stand by. Now, I don't know if Simon Dan himself has addressed all of those arguments. He might have, you tend to repeat yourself a lot, so it's very possible that he does have at least one video where he goes through them. But here's the thing, I have addressed those arguments before. So has Mr. Sensible. I would like you to take a look at this because I don't think that you can debunk it, but you're not going to do that because you're too hung up about what Simon Dan says? I don't know, it sounds like you're just a wee bit obsessed with what Simon Dan says about you. That you're actually willing to overlook evidence because, you know, Simon Dan wants you to look at it. You're willing to abandon being a demonstrable realist because Simon Dan won't call you a demonstrable realist. Correct your mistakes and then I'll entertain your propaganda and I'll tear it left, right and centre. <laughs> Destroyed it before it even begun. Now it's on you. Correct your misrepresentations and I'll tear your propaganda to pieces. Chop chop Lego boy. So again, you didn't actually deal with any of the arguments that Simon Dan presented in the video. You ended the video before he could even make an argument. Instead, it just comes off as complaining about how Simon Dan won't call you what you want him to call you. You might have well just said, Simon Dan won't call me daddy, and so therefore I'm not going to look at his evidence. You know, it just sounds really petty. I have never refused to look at a particular piece of evidence simply because a flat earther told me to look at that particular piece of evidence. And if I ever did do that, it would be perfectly reasonable for people to call me a coward. Hence why I'm calling you a coward, Elio. But anyway, that's it for the video. Elio will eventually return because, you know, I've got to debunk his entire channel eventually. But for now, leave a like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. In fact, leave a comment. I always like reading comments. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. Huge R's, MC Nutkin, Nathaniel Miller, Vermont1777, Wolfie, Mori, Grandma Ghost, Kid Vicious, Sarcher Campbell, definitely not NASA, Craig D'Amelio, and Richard M. Chapman. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link over there. Keep on forgetting. <laughs> anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching. That would be like if a flat earther came to me and said, hey, I've got some evidence right here that proves that the earth is flat. And I say, hmm, ow, boobs.